Hey, what's up team? Nick from the Karate Playbook. And today we actually have a couple people joining us where uh, we're gonna be starting a brief series on how to apply some kata techniques to kumite. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna break it apart and do a video for each of the Heian Katas to start. All right, so jumping right into Heian Shodan, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have Diego actually go through a couple of the motions and then we're gonna take it and apply it to Kumite. All right, so what we're gonna be doing with this is using that low block, not just for the block itself, but as he brings his arm across to chamber, we're gonna be using that to block as well as the low block itself and then we'll have a punch. Now the punch will depend on the distance and what the other person does and reacts to when you block their technique. All right, so if we're set up in our fighting stance and he throws a jab, this is our first motion of this uh, low block, is this block across, he's reverse punching, that's where my low block actually comes in and my punch goes right afterwards. So if I'm punching at him, he's blocking across, down and then catching with reverse punch. Now, in the kata we have a stepping punch, which would be if the other person's trying to get away. Now, of course, in the kata we're punching chuda on our body level. In reality, in kumite, we might be going up to the head or finding any opening that we can do. All right, so if I throw a one, two, and I shift, he's coming right after me to catch me right afterwards. All right, one last variation on this low block reverse punch combination. This is a little bit more advanced, but a lot more fun. So what we're gonna be doing is blocking a back leg kick or a kick that's going to your back. So it depends on which stance they're in. But if we are on the same side stance and I throw a back leg kick, he's gonna do that low block to try to just protect his body, but he's then going to catch it. So now as I throw this round kick at him, all he does is he low blocks and catches right here. Now the next technique is technically a punch, but he's gonna be shifting all the way through behind my foot, and now this becomes a throw and a follow up this way. So if he's throwing that back leg round kick at me, I'm catching it. I like to bring this other hand up high just in case this decides to slide up, try to hit me in the head. This can either be a punch or just a grab. I really like to grab so I can control their fall. And this inside step is gonna go through and behind their foot. And I'm just gonna push down and follow up. Just making sure we're controlling their fall so you're not just slamming them down. They will not thank you for that. All right, for this last combination that we're going to take from Heian Shodan, we're gonna use the big turn. So we're gonna change it up just a little bit and be actually throwing this person very similar to Judo's Tayatoshi throw. So if you wanna get a little bit better at it, you can look that one up. But this is just a Kumite variation. So as he's in his kata, he goes in that rising block and this turn just like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that and implement it into a throw from a clinch. All right, so sometimes you'll see if we're sparring, maybe a combination was thrown and it was picked off and we end up here for a second. Now you can break away and follow up, you can kick, or you can do what I like to do and that's throw them right upside down onto the mats. All right, so when we do this, all we're gonna do is, just like in the kata, we're gonna step our right foot through, just like we're going through for this, and then the back foot is gonna go around and the throw will actually happen over the leg and the hip area, all right? So as I'm here, you'll see he's gonna step through with his right foot, and now his left foot is gonna go behind him, just like the kata, just like the big turn. All right, so let's show this one more time from this angle, just so you can see it a little bit better. If we're here, Diego's gonna step that right foot in, getting his body hip to hip with mine, stepping the left foot around and throwing. All right, now of course with all of these, make sure you're being very safe and only doing these takedowns if it's something that you're comfortable with and you've practiced enough to not injure yourself or your training partner. But anything else, if there's anything we can help you with, please make sure you let us know because we love to help you with what you need. All right, so have a great time with us 
And then just make sure you keep an eye out because we're going to be having every Heian Kata broken down just like this. All right, have an awesome day. See you in the next video. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>